Hello coffee lovers. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean a Eureka Mignon Special Eater grinder. I've had this one for about a year and uh, I, I have cleaned it before now. And during that clean, I found a few things that I thought might be useful for you to know, so for people who own the grinder or perhaps are looking at the grinder to own. Um, so yeah, there's a few things I'm gonna point out. Uh, I'm wearing my aviator t-shirt today because I'm going to navigate the bowels of this dirty little but perfectly formed machine. So let's get straight to it. All right so we're up close and personal with the Eureka Mignon Special Eater and uh, I'm just going to show you how I take it apart, clean it and get it back to almost new hopefully. Uh, first thing is switch it on and grind whatever's left in there. So I'm just going to do that. <laughs> So I've done that. Now you could just continue with the clean um, after that, but um, what I like to do uh, is make sure that we've cleaned it out fully uh, before you know doing the, the do it, taking everything apart. So what I do uh, first of all, though, uh, we want to start the clean, turning it round counterintuitively. We'll, we actually start the clean or, or start taking it apart at the rear. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is take this hopper off. Now I haven't screwed mine in so make sure yours is unscrewed uh, otherwise you might um, damage it. Uh, but actually I leave mine unscrewed because this, the seal here, the, the rubber seal is really nice and it fits very well. Um, much better than the uh, the other um, Mignon uh, or the previous one. So I'm just going to take it out and put that to one side. I'm going to show you a quick easy way to clean this in a moment. I'll put that to one side. Now actually before I continue I'm going to switch it back around and show you what I mean about cleaning it out quickly. So uh, I've got this thing, uh, it's part of a powder duster. So all it is is a little bellows really, just go like that. And what I can do if I put my knock box there and put that over the hole and give it a good bang you can see that quite a lot came out this was actually empty so you can see quite a lot has come out into into there uh, that just saves having to clean through a little bit and that actually just shows you how much is is left in there between grinds you know so once you've done that, or if you don't do that, then the next part that you'll go on to is, well, switch it off. And I'm going to switch it off at the plug too, just for safety. And now we go back to the rear. And just, we need to take this off. So. Um, in order to do that, you just get your fingernail underneath. And if you haven't got any fingernails, you can use something like a, a flathead screwdriver or something uh, that's not going to damage the, uh, the paintwork. So it's, it's quite easy for me to do. Just pull that up and you reveal this, this screw here. Now this isn't kind of a standard screw. You need, uh, it's, it's, uh, you need something like a, a six head, a six side hexagon type screw uh, driver like I've got here. Uh, luckily, I don't have many tools, but I had, had this one. Um, so that's what you'll need to undo this and to actually be able to take the top off. So you try, I try, try to keep the screws with whatever you've taken off from the underneath the screw or around the screw. Now I'm going to turn it round back again. So to take the top off, now we've taken the screw out the back, all we need to do is wiggle it from the back and it should start to, to come loose. Um, and then angle it up and pull it back. To, and that then enables you to take that right off. And bring this little guy a little bit 
closer so you can see. So now you can see we need to get these three screws out and for that we need a, a, a crosshead screwdriver and I'm going to take these out and again keep the, the screws with the part that you're taking out and it's easy to lose these screws down the side and that can be a nightmare so let's hope I don't do it on video okay so I'm going to take that off and now this is uh, so this is the top burr and that's the bottom burr so as you can see they're pretty dirty I'm now going to remove this uh, bottom burr and um, to do that I need to remove these these screws but if I try to do that now uh, it's going to move around a lot so uh, I'm going to use this wrench to hold this middle part and actually I might need to uh, clean out these uh, flathead uh, screws because there's a lot of grounds in them so um, I'm going to use a little skewer here uh, I know this might scratch the burrs a little bit uh, but I'm fine with that do whatever you were comfortable with um, I'm going to be using cotton buds in a little bit to clean these um, the burrs out but in the meantime just to clean these screws and be able to get them out I'm going to use just a, a skewer to just to remove some of the the grounds from around the edges so I'm going to unscrew now and let's not forget the wrench you can also give it a, a bit of a hoover or a vacuum in here um, just to clean it up uh, before you do this you can do that right so now we're down to the bottom burr I've taken the the screws out and this is really critical because the the first time I cleaned this machine I tried to take the bottom burr out but actually uh, it felt like it wouldn't move so I was trying and I didn't want to break anything um, and I just couldn't get it up over a period of time let's say about a year um, the or, or nine months to a year, uh, the consistency not of the grind, grind itself, but actually being able to dial in properly was really really difficult. And I was wondering what was going on. It was like I had a crisis point in my coffee making. In fact, I, I sent it off to the place I got it from, and they actually found that, and they actually sort of told me that I could I could get the bottom burr up. Um, and that there was a coffee underneath which could have been causing an issue or blocking the the chamber there so uh, or getting coffee in the in the chamber so um, you can get this up but you do need to w wiggle it quite a bit especially if there's if you haven't done this before uh, in terms of you know getting the bottom burr up and out you sometimes need to wiggle it about quite a bit. So you see, I was able to get some purchase through the um, through that hole, and it's not easily coming up. There's, you can see it's it's uh, it is coming up. There you go. I've loosened it now, but it wasn't easy. I personally used a, a little bit of screwdriver, as you can see, to. Uh, get into the screw hole and lever it up and then go to the next screw hole to lever that up and gradually wiggle it out that's the bottom burr and I'll give you a little view inside that's it and I'll actually show you the picture that I was sent by um, the people that I got this from showing you that there was quite a lot of coffee um, underneath the bottom burr which can um, cause issues especially if you can see the chute uh, right there just just in here if you look down there you can see um, there's quite a lot um, even though we did blow hard through it with the bellows earlier going to clean this all up and get it back to being uh, kind of new again so now I'm going to hit it with a hoover or to be precise a vacuum I guess as coffee grounds are pretty oily and, and, and can clog easily 
you need to be careful using a vacuum so I, I'm using it here because I, I'm fine with it and I can replace the filter but just be mindful of that I don't want you breaking your vacuum because of this that's removed quite a bit of the, uh, the coffee grounds so now I'm going to use a combination of um, a brush like this it's quite a quite a thick plastic bristled brush and a skewer so that I can just loosen some of this hardened stuff around the edge you can see it's coming away now it's quite a lot around the edge so it's a case of you know brushing and and hoovering yeah don't forget around the edges to make it nice and clean on the inside obviously it's not going to make too much difference to your coffee grinding but it makes it look nice and also don't forget the, the middle here uh, which again a skewer is one of the best things to help with that. Now we hit it with these. All we're doing really is going around the edge and you may need to use the wrench again just to hold uh, this in place while you do that. Or I find it easier just to, to hold it. Um, but then just go around cleaning this. It's basically loosening the coffee grounds because they get stuck around these edges and you'll see very quickly that you're um, cleaning up pretty good and you can see how dirty that is and then obviously you can give it a bit of hoover as well give it a brush in there just trying to get up in all, all these uh, around the sides here you can also use a kitchen towel to rub around the edges, pick up those bits that you can't get to with anything else. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. It was just a case of vacuuming inside, um, using the cotton buds and a brush and then a, maybe a kitchen towel as well, buff it up and uh, that's that's good to go but we're not finished so I'm, I'm going to move on to the cleaning the birds now uh, but I'm going to com come back to this shoot we've got to make sure that's clean now we're going to clean up the birds uh, this one is the top one and I haven't taken it off yet I'm going to leave that on for a moment but I will be taking this bird off this top plate uh, but to clean these uh, you can use like I say a, a brush like this uh, just going through this this is a really effective way actually of, of really quickly uh, getting a lot of the the grinds off here like that just get a go around the edge of the burr as well um, and the difficult part sometimes is actually getting in between in between these uh, into the blades here um, and also um, getting inside of here. So I, again, this is where the cotton buds are really useful. Twist it around in there, stick it in and move it around. Like that. Getting all the dirt out. And if you don't mind using a, a skewer, you can always do that because that's also pretty effective at getting the, the grinds out of there. There you go, so I've just brushed it and uh, used the skewer in, in here as well as the, uh, the cotton buds and that's, uh, as you can see, pretty clean now. So I'm going to do the same with the other one. I'm going to take this, um, this one off the bottom of here and, and clean that one up. Don't forget to clean the screws as well because these can get pretty dirty. Just give them a brush. That works. So I've removed the bottom burr from the, uh, sorry, the top burr from the plate. Uh, you can see there's some, some, some grounds there. And so I'm just going to clean this up. So if you go in two directions with the brush, then you can get all the nooks and crannies and crevices. I'm pretty pleased with that. That's nice and clean now. That one goes on this plate. So just remember to keep them together.
So I'm happy with the top and the bottom, uh, the top and the bottom burr now. I'm gonna screw this back onto the plate. Good as new. So we've done the top and bottom burr now. And so there is actually one more thing that we can do from the parts that we've already taken off. And that is, this part here gets really, really dirty. So we're just gonna quickly clean that one. Bit of kitchen roll. And now to get this rubber piece out, you just push down from here and that quite easily comes out. Um, and then you can just make as much mess as you want. I'm gonna clean this uh, in just some, some soapy water a little bit or just some hot water to, uh, to get this cleaned up. Okay, so I've cleaned that under some hot water now and that is lovely and clean. I also gave this a bit of a clean with some uh, microfiber cloth, uh, which is, was a bit damp. And, uh, and now you just fit that back in there and that looking nice and clean now. Now we need to get into this chute. Uh, so there's just two screws over the top. Again, be careful with these because they can easily drop into uh, the grinder itself. And we don't want that. Certainly not in the middle of a video, but it has happened to me before because I don't buy tools that help with this kind of thing, like uh, magnetic screwdrivers. Uh, now, there is another screw that you need to undo, and that is one in here. Just make sure that you've definitely got it undone. Sometimes it doesn't um, want to come out here. Uh, I've managed to pull it out. Okay, so now we've undone the two screws at the top and the one and, uh, around here. Uh, so th there's a bit of a knack to this. Uh, you have to pull up and then out. So up and out and it sort of comes like that. So I, I tend to pull up on here firmly but not too hard and then um, pull forward. And then because it's got the wire attached for the, uh, the, the screen, be careful. Um, just kind of feed it through up here and then you can lift this uh, out of its little container down there and then I kind of leave it to the one side. Uh, now you've got this kind of shoot that you've revealed and uh, you need to take this off. So you just pull these off here and um, you are now revealing the shoot. So definitely wash this uh, under some hot water or something. That's what I'm going to do. And also we want to get this clump crusher and see that uh, this here. This often gets um, very clogged and when we blew hard earlier, we blew a lot of uh, gunk out of here. So um, when I opened up this before without having to, um, blown it, there was, uh, this was kind of blocked up a little bit. So it saves a little bit of cleaning by doing that if you, if you can. It's very delicate this. So be careful with the clump crusher. So that's that. So I'm going to give this a clean, uh, just a wipe down. And uh, this will come out. Let's get this out with these two screws. This is even more precarious. So my, my kind of technique is to gradually unscrew them and keep it a little bit tight up against them so that the screws don't fall into the machinery. There you go. So there's the chute. So I'm going to give this a little bit of a wipe down here. This, if you're wondering, is just some writing. When I've dialed in a coffee, I'll put in the, uh, the number which, uh, and then a line. So number one, and that one needs to line up with there. Just as a little guide, it's, you know, obviously it's not very um, specific or detailed, but it can work. You'll notice there's uh, some stuff in here. So what I'm going to do with that is try the trusty cotton bud and try getting it out with that, just while turning this around. And I'll use the, uh, the hoover or the vacuum in here. 
Okay, so that is nice and clean now. And I'm just gonna clean these other dirty pieces. You can see here, that I've got my coffee machine on. You see the lights? Um, well, I'll show you why I've got that on in a second. It's not to, to make a coffee. At least not at the moment. Some coffee up there, mm, delicious coffee. And so, back to the grinder. Let's get started putting this all back together. You wanna make sure that you do these level, otherwise they, you screw one side in and the other won't, won't screw in. Clump crusher next. Yeah, really fiddly, that clump crusher. So, that goes in. It actually goes in a certain way around. You can see it if you look closely. And this goes over the top. Just move this out of the way and then make sure it's properly uh, pulled underneath here. And uh, it's meant to sort of connect, go over the chute at the bottom. You can see that from the side here, it goes right underneath here. Okay, now we can put this back on. There is actually a little bit of, there is a little bit of dirt behind here. So I'm just gonna clean, just gonna clean that up. Okay, so that's cleaned up now. I'm gonna put it back in, the whole face thing out like that. It can be a little tricky to get this back in the right, in the right position. I think that's in. So now putting it back in, position the front panel, just making sure that you bring the uh, the cable back over and guide it back. Key is, um, if I move this back, the key is this, the, the hooks at the bottom here, which you can't see, but they need to, they need to go in the in down here in that little hole. And then you just pull it back over. Now you just pull up kind of the opposite as we did before when we were getting it off pull it back over and then down. So you can see that's that's done now. And um, we're just gonna put the screws back in. And then this one of it goes back into this spot here. Okay, so that's nice and tight. And now we need to do the the bottom burr, we need our wrench to keep it from spinning. So that's bottom burr in and now top burr I've already uh, put back onto the plate. So just goes back in. Now we can put the top plate back on. So just a case of sliding it in Feels nice when it does that. And then just clicking it down. And we've got to go back behind here to screw this in here. Hook this back on, just we'll clip that back in. And there we go, we've put most of it back together. I'm going to give it a wipe down with a slightly Slightly damp cloth, including the screen. Get this off and then get the dry part of the cloth. It's just a standard microfiber. Stand by though, because uh, I'm going to show you how to quickly clean the hopper. Because we haven't done that yet. So how's that looking now? Sparkly. Love it. Looks beautiful. Okay, so now, how do we clean the hopper? Well, we're going over this way and, oh, there it is. We're gonna use the coffee machine, but how are we gonna use that? First, give your uh, hopper a shake out and a wipe down, maybe a, uh, maybe a brush inside here with the, with the brush, just to get all those bits of debris out. You want to take the paddle out, you see these little, little bits sticking up here. And if you just line those up with the hole, you can just take that straight out and give that, 
bit of a clean up. But how do we get this nice and clean? Looking over, oh, we're looking over towards the steam one. So now you want to be careful with this because steam burns and I found that out myself. So uh, make sure that you've got a, a towel, actually a microfiber cloth is not going to do it. It will come through. So a good thick uh, towel and then um, I'll get the water filter out of the way so you can see. Uh, but what you want to do is just spray the steam into here and turn it around. So let's get you a bit closer. So cover the end because the, 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 uh, the steam's going to come out here. And just make sure that you, you're not going to get yourself. So just keep turning it around. And you can see um, it's given it a, a good steam inside. The reason this kind of works is because there's a lot of oils in your in beans, and so um, you know, doing this actually, you know, at high temperature uh, means that uh, you're going to get rid of those some of those stubborn oils. And then once you've done that, just make sure that uh, you've, you've dried it out properly and uh, you've got a nice clean hopper. So here it is in all its glory, nice and clean. And to put the finish, finishing touch, here we go. That feels good. There we go. You can see now, nice and shiny. The burrs are all clean. We've cleaned out all the coffee and we have a lovely clean machine. So that's it. Nice and clean. Everything's cleaned out. It feels so good when you've cleaned it, although when you're doing it, it doesn't feel so great. Although it's kind of cathartic for me. Um, it takes a while to do for me. Uh, it takes 20 or 30 minutes to do it properly. Uh, so put that time aside um, and if you you know now's the, the kind of time to start tasting more coffee because now we cleaned it out it's all ready to go if you like watching coffee tasting videos I've got some of those um, on my channel if you want to check those out uh, in terms of washing this like how often should you do it uh, how often should you uh, clean out the grinder it depends on your usage but I'd say uh, you know if you, you're using it a couple of times a day then every two to three months should do it I'm actually planning on um, reviewing these grinds. I haven't opened them yet. They are to, to supposedly help you keep your burrs in order, keep them clean. Um, I'm planning a review of them though, so keep an eye on that. Also planning a video review of the special eater since I've had it for quite a while now. So I know some pros and cons. If you want to know about that, I'll put a link in somewhere when I've done that. But uh, if you want to know uh, when these videos come out, you know, about the grinds and this review, then uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can uh, get notified. Um, I, there are some other videos that I'll recommend at the end of here, but uh, if, you, if you got this far, then thank you very much for watching and I hope you see you soon.